Now let's convert decimal to hexadecimal. But before we start, please remember when we say hexadecimals, the digits that we're just using is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So when it comes to 10, we name it as A, B for 11, C for 12, D for 13, E and F for 14 and 15. Okay, so let's have an example. Let's say I have 72. Let's say 72 base 10 for formality. I will convert that to base 16. So to convert that, I'll divide it by 16. 72. And that is 4 with a remainder of 8. But I will stop here because I can no longer, I can I cannot longer divide 4 by 16. So let's so this is already the hexadecimal form. 4 8 base 16. Let's have another example. Let's say 4,000. 4,172 base 10. Let's convert it to hexadecimal. So let's divide. 4,172 divided by 16, we will have 260 with a remainder of 12. Next, let's divide this again by 16. 260 divided by 16, that's 16 with a remainder of 4. Next, let's divide it again. 16 divided by 16, that's 1 with a remainder of 0. And this will be our hexadecimal value. And that is 104. 104. But 12, remember, we use C for 12. So 104C base. 16. Now, how about if we convert it back like this one? Let's convert it back to decimal. That's quite simple. All you have to do is write the 4 and the 8. Let's start here. That's 16 raised to 0, which is just equal to 1. And then this is times 16 raised to 1. And then you add it. And you'll end up having, this is just 1, guys. It will end up having 1. And we will end up having um, 64 plus 8, and that is 72. Same goes with this one. I'll just write it again. What if we want to convert it back here? Back here. So let's just write the value. Remember, our C is 12, our 4, 0, and 1. So I will multiply this by 16 raised to 0, which is just 1, plus times 16 raised to 1, plus times 16 raised to 2, which will just equal to 0. 0 times any number is just 0, plus 16 raised to 3. And if you add all of this, you will end up having 4, 1, 7, 2 as your answer. And that's it.